hello there so today we're going to be testing out three fake nyx liquid suede lipsticks that i bought from ebay for two pounds 99 each i bought these believing that they were genuine and it wasn't until i uh, compared them side by side with my genuine liquid suede in the shade soft spoken that i spotted differences and came to the conclusion that these are fakes now i've done a lot of shopping on ebay on aliexpress i'm pretty familiar uh, with fake makeup i just didn't think that nyx would be a brand that fakers would target purely because it's a drugstore brand and you know it's cheap to buy the genuine products or oh, it's not cheap but it's relatively affordable you know to buy the genuine products so i didn't really think that there would be much room for fakers to make that much money uh, because they're selling these for 2 99 and the genuine ones cost six pounds so it's not as if these are selling for like 25 pounds and then the fakers can sell them for 10 pounds do you know what i mean but anyway the, i just thought it would be a shame to kind of waste these and i thought it would be rather fun uh, and just a little bit interesting to try them on and then compare them to photos of how the genuine ones look also i have just filmed a first impression of two fake um, mascaras by benefit i literally you're gonna think oh my gosh and when just gets gets completely roped into buying like fakes all the time thinking that they're genuine products i don't know what it was just like with my little ebay splurge it was after Christmas and I was just feeling a little bit fancy thinking oh I'll just treat myself to some late Christmas presents and then I mean this this happened by the way I thought these were travel sizes so anyway that video has gone up you may or may not have seen it but the video is live so I'm not going to bore you with all of the details about why I ended up buying them but anyway okay so today we're going to be testing out Orange County which is a beautiful kind of well, orangey shade <laughs> i mean really we're going to be testing out sway which again a beautiful lavender shade i mean i never know lavender lilac purple i don't know the distinction violet i mean what are you right now no idea it's purple i mean it's freaking purple isn't it have a life's a beach which one of my subscribers said that this looks way too light to actually be the, like anywhere close to the genuine one so probably after i've done this little first impression i will be putting these in the bin just purchased the liquid suede vault featuring all of the liquid suede shades i'm not gonna waste my time with these fake feckers when i'm gonna have the whole vault soon i mean really yeah okay let's just do this let's do it i'm gonna begin with what i believe may be the lightest shade which is life's a beach i keep forgetting the name life's a beach i mean really oh, okay so just before i get into the swatches i just wanted to show you uh the fake side by side with a genuine one so down at the bottom is my uh, stone fox shade which is genuine i bought it from boots for six pounds and then on top obviously we have the fake so at first glance they look very very similar but if you look closely you can definitely see a difference in the text and the size of the text it's much thicker in the genuine and it just looks a little bit more like professional i feel whereas in the fake one it's thinner and already a bit of the kind of black print is kind of rubbing off so it just looks cheap like such a subtle small thing but i do feel like once you spot it it's like very obvious and it just screams i'm a fake like fakers kim k's ass i mean really not just kim k's all of the k's the courtney's the chloe's the kylie's the kendall well ken i don't think kendall has fake ass but anyway why am i thinking about their asses i wasn't i, I was thinking, yeah, I mean, why are you thinking about the kardashian clan's asses i don't know i don't know i think they want you to i think there's like a subliminal message always in the media just like think of think of the kardashians asses don't think about any of the issues in the world that might really matter you know like people starving all over the world people not having water aliens no don't think about that just think about king k's ass i mean look at it there i mean really anyway but what am i even saying okay so also they do both have like a jewel which i actually think is a really nice detail on the top of the lid the fake one just doesn't look quite the same it looks a lot more shiny whereas the genuine one just looks a bit better and the lid itself looks a bit shinier as i said these are very like small differences but i want to point them out 
The big giveaway though, for me, the genuine liquid suede has quite a substantial long wand. It's quite thick as well. It's quite hairy. You know, it looks like a pretty impressive wand, I would say. See, the wand is like so different. This is a much smaller wand. It's kind of curved upwards at the end. Um, it's hairy, but like you can see, there's such a glaring difference between the two wands. It's, it's like Peter Mon, John Cookian. I mean, just at completely opposite ends of the scale. My evidence as to why I have come to the conclusion that these three from eBay are fake. I'm going to begin with testing out Life's a Beach. Uh, no, just no. It's got a absolutely like awful artificial sickeningly, sickeningly sweet smell. Oh, should I show? Let's actually, before I go on, I'm just going to show. Let's just have a look and see what the genuine one looks like. And then like we can imagine what we're going to be met with okay so life's a beach which is that one it looks like a beautiful coral pink shade it looks absolutely gorgeous already you can see night and day night and day it's just not in any way in the same ballpark but oh well it also feels pretty emollient like it doesn't feel as thick or creamy as the genuine uh, article also it's not really got much in the way of like opacity to it this is what life's a beach looks like i mean i'm not hating it it's just very much of a baby like baby true pink and i actually really like it up close you can see it's definitely patchy i do believe that you would need two layers of this to make it look like not patchy compare it to the actual life's a beach i mean it's there's just no similarity whatsoever between the two shades um i actually love this shade by the way if you do want to see me do like a full swatch video of all of the liquid shade liquid shades oh my gosh like seriously liquid suede when I get the vol, I would love to do that video for you. Um, I promise I won't talk a lot. I'll just do the swatching and then go away. And then swatch the next one and go away. So you won't have to put up with like me talking for hours on end. I'll just keep it focused on the lips. But anyway, yeah, uh, no, no. Uh, I don't hate it, but I, I, I kind of do hate it actually, I, no. And also it's drying like to that awfully unflattering finish where it emphasizes every single one of the lines in your lips i'm not actually a huge fan of the liquid suede formula i find that it is really really drying i've got stone fox i've got soft spoken i adore both of these shades but i do find the formula is incredibly drying anyway okay life of beach off it goes i just thought would it be cool to get a piercing like in each cheek and it would look like i had dimples that would be really really cool but then you'd have to live with them forever otherwise you'd end up with like two scars but i'd love to have dimples apparently though people get dimples because in the womb their uh, cheek muscles didn't uh, kind of uh, form properly i could live with that i mean really if it gave me really cute dimples oh my gosh i often think why did my cheek muscles have to develop properly in the womb okay so it's really difficult to get off like it's so stuck on there i find this a lot with fake liquid lipsticks they are really a nightmare to remove i don't know why that is um it's something to do with i think the cheap ass formula it just makes it stick to your lips like glue like it's probably got glue in it let's be real here it's probably got glue in it uh, okay, oh my lips feel like they're burning, but I don't know if it's just because of the the wipes because I've been like, you know, rubbing them, but my lips do feel a little bit burny right now. Uh, but I'm going to move past it and we are going to try Sway, which is, well, the beautiful purple shade. Okay, so this is what the genuine Sway looks like. It's an absolutely gorgeous, like purpley lavender shade. So let's put this bad boy on. Oh my gosh, not bad. Not bad at all. This wand is different as well. Can you see? The wand is like, 
it's more similar to the genuine one. Uh, and the formula feels a lot better. Like the formula doesn't feel as liquidy or emollient. And it's definitely more opaque. Oh my gosh, like really, this is so different to the other one. I feel like this could be real, you know, I know it's not, but I, it just feels so good. And it's thick, like it's, you can see it's like a thicker formula. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for it to properly dry a minute before we compare side by side with the picture. But what I will say is this formula was so kind of different to Life's the Beach. It just felt much thicker, much kind of, I don't know, like better. It just felt much more substantial. It obviously gave me more coverage. It's not got that kind of patchiness that um, Life's the Beach had. It, it didn't feel as emollient or slippery it just felt like quite similar to the genuine uh, formula but it's definitely accentuating my fine lines in my lips but let's compare okay oh my gosh it's so similar i'd say the uh the fake one is definitely like a little bit darker but i mean it's very similar and i would say that even though it's like really really drying it doesn't feel quite as drying as life's a beach um but it does feel more drying than my stone fox or soft spoken so i definitely don't think it's real but it just goes to show that not all fakes are the same you know like i don't think these were made in the same factory or maybe they just had a spare brush from another product and they just popped it in here because let's face it they're probably not going to be following very strict procedures you know but i really really like this one i think it's actually really really nice i love the shade of it yeah i like it but i won't be wearing it again of course it's gonna go in in the fucking bin i mean really okay so next we have orange county this um again it has the same wand as sway it's got that longer uh kind of wand um not as like thick i wouldn't say it's the genuine wand but okay let's do this oh no let's not do this i keep forgetting shoot me right now put me in a bin bag and leave me for the bin men i mean really so this is what the genuine orange county looks like again this formula feels actually like pretty nice so again i'll just give it a few seconds just to kind of set uh, but i really really like the shade i Definitely do feel like Sway and Orange County are a different formula to Life's a Beach. They were just miles different. Uh, Life's a Beach was thin, kind of liquidy and very oily. Whereas these two were much closer, in my opinion, to the genuine formula of the liquid suede in that they were thicker, more um, kind of opaque coverage and just generally a better quality formula in my opinion. Let's compare it to the real. Okay, so if you compare it, I'm trying to make my lips look like those lips, but they're perfect lips. Oh no, I can't do it. Okay, so my lips will never look like that apparently. I'd say they look very similar, whereas this one almost looks like it's got a bit of yellowness to it. Again, like it's so difficult to actually say because this is a photo, it could have been altered in some way and the lighting is probably affecting this it looks a bit cheap orange though like it doesn't look like a sexy siren like orange like senorita i'm going to come and steal your man kind of shade this just looks like a very basic orange it's not dried down yet either it still feels like very moist okay so i mean i think that these two here aren't bad fakes i wouldn't recommend them i definitely would just say buy the real thing because these were 2.99 the uh, genuine uh, liquid suede are six pounds so i feel like for an extra four pounds and one pence i don't know i have no idea and I'm, I'm not even going to work it out right now but i think definitely it's worth just getting a genuine product because as much as like these two shades did look a lot like the genuine shades i feel like the formula is oh as dry as not even a nun's vagina it's as dry as like the head of the nunnery her vagina 
It's not just like a regular nun's vagina. It's the head of the monastery nun's vagina. The head vagina. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to go to hell for this right now. If there's any nuns watching, I'm sorry. I apologise. Um, but anyway, I'm worried now. I'm now worried thinking a, a nun's watching me. I mean, really, what will they think of my dildo talk? And double-ended talk? And nun's vagina talk? I mean, really, I should get a t-shirt dry as a nun's vagina anyway okay so anyway yeah just in conclusion i definitely would not recommend that you spend your hard-earned money on fake nyx products from ebay get the genuine thing although these two are good they're not a patch on the actual real thing as i said i'm not a huge fan of the liquid suede formula but these ones like you can tell these are just cheaper and for a few extra pounds you can get the genuine article and you know exactly what ingredients have gone into making it so yes i just threw them in the bin sorry that was the sound of me plopping them in the bin right there anyway i'm gonna go now i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as i said please let me know downstairs if you would like to see me uh, do like a swatch video of every single liquid suede shade i would love to do that like Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye. What am I doing? What what are you doing right now, Amwen? I mean, really, I have no idea. Let's say bye in like a graceful, mature manner. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. No, no, just no. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye.